has opened up the game uh, make sure the controller isn't plugged in I just unplugged it right now but make sure the controller isn't plugged in because if you have it plugged in already and you open up the game it's not going to reach your controls because it's it's not going to recognize um, any of the inputs yet and then same same goes for uh, when you open the the game or like even if you have the game open and if you don't have the controller plugged in it's not going to register so you got to back out of the game and make sure you have the controller plugged in first so we're gonna go ahead and i use my xbox controller of course you can see it's nice blue color then you can grab one of these usb wires that you have plugged into your computer plug it in like so and now that's plugged in you want to see that light stay staying on and shit and then we start reopen the game and that's when it should start being read your buttons now that we're on the uh, MK Mugen uh, select screen, so we can go ahead and use the arrow keys because your control won't be uh, controller won't be registered just yet. You just gotta use the arrow keys for now. And some of these screen packs are different, but you always gonna want to go to the options menu, of course. So now that you're on the options menu, after you hit enter, you can go all the way down to input config. You can hit enter on that. And some of these are different. I can't remember uh, which button you'd be able to hit to get into the joystick because it's. it's Certain buttons allow you to do certain things. Like if I in, hit enter on the keyboard, for instance, it's gonna pull up this in menu, and you don't want to see up, down, left, right, one, six, two, three, four. You know, you don't want to see any of that shit because then if you try to map it, it's not gonna work. So just hit the escape button and make sure you hit A, um, the A button for uh, Xbox, or if you're using a PS3, I'm not sure if that works. Um, you hit the X button. So you're gonna hit A with the Xbox controller, and you're gonna want to see the A hyphen and then the numbers right there and that's when you know you're, you're doing uh, pretty good so far so like what i like to do before i start mapping is i hit any button and i prefer to hit the up button because then it brings you down and it shows you like the highlights that's that's when you know it's time to start uh mapping your controls so obviously this is gonna be self-explanatory you're just gonna hit up on the d-pad down on the d-pad left on the d-pad right on the d-pad and there you go so that's pretty much all taken care of for uh for right now so now becomes the very very fun part what you're gonna do for a is obviously you're gonna hit a because that's gonna be for the low punch for the block it's gonna be the b it's gonna be uh the right trigger i like to use the right trigger when i uh do the block so you're gonna hit right trigger and you're gonna want to see the eight hyphen oh five so that's when you know you're doing okay so far then c is going to be the high kick so you're gonna hit i like to use b so we're gonna hit the b button now be high kick a hyphen 16. and now we're gonna uh, map i think this is the uh high punch so i'm gonna go ahead and hit this and you're gonna want to see an a hyphen 17. there we go so a obviously so this is what your uh, menu is gonna look like so far a hyphen 11 then 12 13 14 15 oh 05 16 and 17. So now for Y, I would like to use, um, I think that might be the high kick button, no, or, or the run. And I, I, I think my guess would have to be the, the run button. So it's going to be, I, I use like, I like to use the left bumper or L1 for, you know, you PlayStation dudes. So I'm going to hit the run button, which is for Y. And there we go. And then for Z. A minus 18 that shouldn't have to be touched but I'm going to hit it anyway I like to use the Y button so I'm gonna hit this Y button right here 18 and obviously start is the start button and don't touch the controller again just use your arrow keys to move down down one more time hit enter and there you go your controller should be config now so use your uh, the d-pad see like I see what you're doing right here it is working just fine so now after that you finish that just hit go to uh save hit a now that's mapped and there you go your options should be saved so every time you enter an mk mugen game you are ready to fucking go so there you have it guys so hopefully um this tutorial helped uh once again i have to thank all the subs that have been subbing to, re to me recently and for those that are new to mk mugens or mugens in general um this is how i like to play i like to play kind of like you know just like the ps1 um Mortal Kombat trilogy or the rk collection that came out for ps3 360 you know a few years ago so hopefully it um yeah you, you get that same feel and it feels just as comfortable to play as as i play with that 
But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I hope this helped, and please leave uh, a comment in the section just, uh, to see if I did good, you know, if the tutorial helped you guys, or if you have any more questions, um, please feel free to comment down below. Once again, like I said, I'm your host, Krausting, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.